Good morning. You know, it's a good thing, I suppose, in some respects, to take what life sends you. But you don't always have to take what life sends you. And that's very important to know. You know, breathing out is important, but it's also important to breathe in. Breathing in is important, it's also important to breathe out. And you don't have to accept everything that life sends you. And you can accept things that life sends you, but you don't have to. Right? It's not selfish to not accept something that life sends you. Because uncanny as this may sound, it's a matter of fact in my life that if you say no, it'll always send you something better. And with that option applied to any given instance of one's life, I think that puts one in a much better place than you might otherwise find yourself. That is, in the position to be heir to quite as much as you'd like and to what you'd like. It's great to appreciate what's around you. It's great to be receptive. But it's also great to set yourself up to receive the best. And life won't always send you the best right away. Especially if you just accept whatever life sends you. It's part of a fun of fundamental syntax, fundamental way that life speaks to us. And a fundamental example of how we are invited to speak back to life. And maybe nobody ever tells you that, but the fact remains that that's how it is. Someone might tell you what gravity is, but you've pretty much got to live with it. It's not quite the law of attraction, but it served me quite well. More like the law of distraction.